so in humans, uh, for example, studies of Steve Cunane up in by Montreal, he's had um, patients with MCI go on ketogenic diet and actually giving them what are called medium chain triglycerides, which are like these short fatty acids that are readily converted into the ketones. And um, so he published reports on that and um, kind of enhancing cognition. And Dimitros Kapagianis, who's a neurologist that was uh, actually in my laboratory when I was at NIA, and I retired a few years ago. And we started a study, it's his study, um, but I helped design it based on our animal work. And so it's, the, the subjects are people between the ages of 55 and 70 with obesity and insulin resistance. And they're randomly assigned to either intermittent fasting, eating regimen, or control, which is three meals a day. Um, and all, all the people in the study have got it, like advice for healthy diet. And then uh, at baseline, that is before we start uh, on intermittent fasting, and two months later, they're going under a battery of cognitive and other psychological tests, um, functional MRI uh, to look at neural network activity. Okay. And um, we're also doing some other interesting things, measuring GABA actually in their brain. There's a method called MR spectroscopy. And then uh, blood samples, cerebrospinal fluid samples. So we have data, individual subjects before and then two months later. And um, so actually he just very recently finished the last subjects in the study. It got delayed two years by COVID because when COVID hit, no more human studies. Uh, and so Dimitros is looking at the data now. We'll see what happens with that. And there are also ongoing trials and planned trials of the ketone ester that I mentioned. So it's actually commercially available. Athletes are actually using this a lot because it there's some evidence it can enhance athletic performance. Um, yeah, so I think that's what's emerging. Um, some trials of intermittent fasting in patients at risk for cognitive impairment in Alzheimer's, such as the one in Dr. Kapagiana's study, uh, patients with MCI and early AD is kind of the target groups as far as clinical trials. And then the other aspect of this is just like how to incorporate these kind of by lifestyle things into uh, clinical practice and kind of get the word out that, I, I mean, people know that overeating and, and being sedentary is not good, but, you know, maybe if they know that that's not good for their brain and it may increase their chances of developing Alzheimer's, you know, there may be some people that had a relative that had Alzheimer's and they say, oh, I don't want to end up like that. 